Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Giant Beast Cast. It is episode 281, 281st episode here of this here Giant Beast Cast. But who's keeping track? I am. It is o- October 8th. It is October 9th. If you're listening to this on Friday, the once once in a while, long time ago date we used to post this podcast before we started doing live with this video stuff due to our current situation. Speaking of the current situation, I'm here with Alex Navarro. Yes, I am here. I am the current situation. Hello. Hi, how are you? Abby Russell. Hello. Thank you for having me. I just got curious about how many beast casts I've been on, so I Googled it. Okay, how many? And I've, I was, the first one I was on was 103. 103? Cool. Holy God, that's a lot of beast casts. Um, yeah. So I've been on 80... <laughs> Something. Oh my god! No, wait, wait, more than that. Two hundred something. So I've been on like hundred eighty something. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's so many shows. When you <laughs> say it like that, it's, it's it's a lot of shows we've done. I mean, when you say two eighty one, I look at that and that number sears into my brain in a way that kind of makes me want to shut down. Well, when I say it, I just I'm reading off the chart here. I just put one. I just add one each time, so I've lost track. But when you say it like how many how many have I been on? Then it has like a real number. It's funny, I brought that up in like a what a nice thing. Yeah. But you guys really do it much differently. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's just uh, it's the Jeff Bacalar, first time on the show. Hey, that's funny. That's how you say it. Uh, Jeff Bob Bacala, who's this guy? Uh, Jeff uh, Jeff Bacala, uh says that he's burning his hand. He's, his hands on fire. He's basically lost the hand. He's basically the guy from uh, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Now has a now has a, a, a NVMe map burnt seared onto his hand because he touched it. Can't believe this. Uh, what is Microsoft even doing? Uh, I'm just I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. He didn't burn his hand, folks. Folks, I'm a. Uh... I'm doing all right. How are you guys doing? I'm okay. I'm okay. People were quoting you in in, in articles from. Um, were they? Uh, yeah. Well, no. Well, they Wait, were. What yes. Did you say? I don't know. I haven't really been paying attention. So, uh, if someone wants to shed some light, by all means. Okay. First, we, first, first off, hey, I want to say before we uh we got a little bat we got a little battle we got a little battle brewing here. I don't like it. I don't, I don't, I don't know, know if that's what I. Would we got a little battle, a battle brewing. We got a little battle brewing for the hearts of the nation. On one side, we have Abby Russell playing Fortnite Me. with St. Vincent, just just <laughs> just blowing up. On the other side, we got Jeff Backlar being misquoted and represented by other other outlets. He's going all out of focus. <laughs> <laughs> um, congratulations to both of you. Really, if you want to Thank see you. if you yeah. if you want to see more of Abby playing Fortnite with St. Vincent, that is a lovely experience. You can watch it on the site. If you want to see Jeff uh, be misquoted. And and his name spelled wrong. <laughs> Stay tuned to this podcast. I'm sure we'll get there eventually as well. There was some creativity. I gotta tip my hat to where uh, respect is due. <laughs> That's a real way to fuck it up. <laughs> Wait, did they spell your name wrong? I, I saw some fun screen grabs of real bad ways to do it. Funny. Well, well, could, you, could, you describe, could you describe one of those ways? Because like right now I'm left to my uh, imagination. Uh, a friend of the uh, friend of the site, uh, Mr. Grub, Mr. Jeff Grub, posted something where it was like two Ks in a row, and then and then something funny at the end. There was like a four in there. I don't know. <laughs> I like when people tried to say it, and we're like, uh, this guy on the uh, 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 works for Giant Bomb, uh, basically owns Giant Bomb. His name is uh, <laughs> Jeff Jeff Pacacalar. Um, I get it. I get it. I get it. There's no way to find out how it's pronounced. I get it. I, there's no way to you know, turn around. I just like time knowing time. that they, no, there's listen, no way to know. There's no way to listen know. to the podcast enough to hear you talk about how hot your Xbox was, but not the part where you introduce your name. <laughs> <laughs> or do they? Yeah, well, anyway, who cares? Who cares? Uh, uh, you know, hey, listen. I, 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 it's hard to. I probably mispronounce three quarters to ninety percent of the stuff I read on here. Also, and probably read nonsense that was reposted by somebody else that I did not verify or fact check. That's just. I'm not. I'm not here to throw stones. I'm here Any, to get real. Yeah, I get like real. It. I'm here to just say whatever uh, I read on the internet out loud as a conduit. That's all I am. Uh, just, just yeah. pa- pass it that's on right through. Fucking created for right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from, that's right. From the bloggers' lips to my lips. That's it. That's how the saying goes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> lip to lip. lip. To that's lip. how news works. <laughs> Can't do that during COVID, man. Come on. Uh, yeah. Vinny spreads his lip. news with kisses. I do. Mwah. Speaking of uh, mwah, uh, Star Wars. I kiss everything. What do you do? Uh, that's my shit. No, I do it now. I That's my, I stole it. Uh, wow. I played Star Wars Squadrons. I like that game. I don't love that game. I did a quick look for it. You can see it up on the site. Star Wars Squadrons, uh, $40 on the PC, PS4. 
for Xbox One. Uh, what do you like about it? Controllers, right? Sorry, one at a time, please. I know it's very popular. Abby, uh, go ahead. You play with your fancy flying controllers. I do. Right? I uh, well, uh, so there is a. Let's start there. So it is a flight <laughs> game. It's a, a game where you fly Tie Fighters, uh, the Tie Fighter brand, and you fly the X Wing brand, uh, which means that you'll be flying Y wings. And if you're familiar with the Star Wars universe, you'll be flying A wings, Tie Fighters, Tie Interceptors, Tie Bombers. There's a thing called a U wing and a thing called something else. A rending, rending, uh, something else. Um, anyway, the wow, it got dark in your room, Jeff. And uh, the I'm sorry. no, it's okay. The um, you know, this happens all the time. What can I tell? You? So it's a flight game. It's a flight game, dog fighting, taking down capital ships, that kind of thing. You can play with a controller just fine, uh, but you can also play on the PC with uh, a flight stick, and that's what I've been playing with. Unfortunately, there are some problems with Dead Zone, and that's where the um, that's where the game kind of engages with the stick as you. So say you're pulling to the left. Uh, when is that game? When is it going to pick up that you're pulling to the left? How much dead zone do you want, right? So, mm. uh, the game currently it's like somewhere between twenty and thirty percent. The ship just doesn't move at all. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, and then all of a sudden the curve, the acceleration curve, goes from like not moving at all to moving a slight bit to just jumping and you know, going full. So when you're trying to target something that is moving back and forth and up and around, and you want like really precise movements, it gets very hard. Currently, I'm sure it's something they will patch out. Uh, or patch to fix, and there are third-party fixes for it. That's one of the problems. The other problem is sometimes when you register what feels like, and I'm not as sure about this one. I didn't spend that much time looking it up, but I've noticed it a couple of times. Like when you're on a diagonal using the flight stick, it seems to lose input. Like if you, if it, maybe if it feels oh. like it's getting, um, hey, I'm, you're pushing down into the side. It feels like it just dies, and your, your ship just stops moving mm. for a second and then goes. That all being said, I do enjoy playing it with the flight stick. It's a HOTAS, which means the throttle is separate from the stick. Um, there's enough throttle management. There's enough shields management. There's enough um, going on where I like the tactile feel of that and just enjoy it more than the controller. Uh, and, and and that's fun for me to play. Yes. Um, I have a question about your like flight stick issues. Is that an issue with the game? Like how it's set up or is that an issue with your flight stick so or like, it's, uh, is they, that an issue with the compatibility with your flight stick with the game you know uh, what i mean yeah uh it's it's kind of uh from me looking it up it is kind of uh, uh more than just my flight stick other other flight sticks okay. i'm using a SciTech x52 there are some um uh settings in it but it's already set to zero percent dead zone which means you what you'd want to do is set it to negative right you want it to kick in Uh, faster um i'm hoping they can patch that out uh and again if you want to go in and remap it using third-party software and stuff like that and make your acceleration curves and all that i think you can spend the time to do that i just hope they fix it which would be nice Yeah. yeah um you know dead zone is a thing that is in all games people have worked around it they have figured out i'm not a developer so i don't know I, I, I hope they make my user experience work. That's it. That's all I can yeah. say. Um, the game itself has a story mode, which I think, uh, going into it, I heard a lot of people say that it's short. It's it's just to get you into the ships. And as a function of letting you experience each ship and kind of teaching you the basics, it definitely works. It is fairly uh, long, though, at like maybe six or seven mm. hours. Um, you know, if you're talking about a thing that, if you if you compare it to other games that are probably there for the multiplayer stuff like Call of Duty games that have a uh, kind of a nominal story and then hey you're here to the life of this game will be in the multiplayer, I think the story is sufficient. I think it's kind of boring. I think the characters are kind mm. of boring. There are a few fun characters that I like. I think the uh, leader on the Empire side is a lot of fun, and she gets she seems to have what I want from the Empire, which is like control until she loses it and it just get you know gets frustrated at people and slams tables and stuff like that. Um, and I think the, the rebels just seem like, I don't know, they don't, they're, they're the rebels kind of joyless. <laughs> they're all just all like sad cause they're losing all the time and, you know, uh, throw some like friendship bracelets at them or something. I don't know. They, they don't seem like, um, they, there are characters on the empire side that are interesting and then the, on the rebel side, eh, I don't know. The whole, the whole story is so kind of inane. It's, uh, right. It's, meh. But you, you get to try out all the ships, and that's fun. And the, the cutscenes are very well rendered. The um, the the cinematics, I think, are actually gorgeous in some places, if you're looking for that Star Wars feel. I mean, if you are not into Star Wars and you're coming to this, I think you're going going to not have a great time. If you love the sound of a TIE fighter and the, the 
sounds of the lasers and the laser bolts going off, I think you might really enjoy this if it's you're fulfilling some kind of nostalgia or fantasy of being in mm-hmm. the cockpit of one of these planes. I think it is nailing some of that. Uh, I am also terrible at the multiplayer. So uh, it is. if you think you're an ace in that story mode like I did, and I was like, man, I'm killing this. I'm, I'm getting everything. And then you jump into the multiplayer and last five seconds in it each time uh, because everybody else is really good, uh, then uh, join the club. So yeah, I think I think it's fun. Again, I think it's good to remember it's forty dollars. It's not sixty bucks. Uh, there's VR support. I have not tried any of that. Brad has tried it and, and really liked it. I think the on the PlayStation Four, um, you know, you, you'll take some of that resolution and graphic fidelity hit. Uh, I need to talk to Jeff Gerstman. I think he's played it on the PC and VR. So uh, I have not tried mm. that. But yeah, I'm enjoying yeah, it. I've heard I've heard the VR stuff is not the best. Um, just anecdotally from a couple of people, like there is some real like depending on which ship you're in, like trying to turn your head within the mm. scope of, of like the, the cockpits, like some of the ships, the way they're designed, like it's just hard to see what's on either <laughs> side of you. Sure. So like I, that's, I, which is kind of an important thing when you're playing in VR. I can see some of that, especially in the uh, empire ships, like the tie fighter has a viewport out the front. It's, you know, right. it's, a, it's a ball with a port. You're not going to see much, but some of the rebel ships have open cockpits on the top, which you can see over it, which mm-hmm. sound neat. Doesn't support track IR right now, so I couldn't try that. But anyway, with track IR, unless you, again you're you're mucking around with the acceleration curves and stuff, a little tough sometimes to look straight. I'm up. always doing that. It's, it's mm. like my thing. It's like my thing that I do. So yeah, Star Wars Squadrons. Um, go check out the quick look. You can see it was very tough to do that quick look, and I apologize if it feels very disjointed. It's one of those ones, and we've all been there where it's like you finish it and then you talk to the person. And you're like, was that any good? I, I feel like I was just. Right. I don't know what I was saying. Is that any good? Because it's just very hard to talk. And play that game at the same time. There's a lot of power management. Move your shields, move your power, dump power from shields into weapons, and then switch back and forth while people are shooting at you from all angles and you're flying a ship. Uh, it's very kinetic, but uh, but I've enjoyed it. Uh, that took up most of my time, and unfortunately I didn't get a chance to play Baldur's Gate 3, which is actually the thing now that I really want to play. Um, I probably didn't so have to the... finish that story mode for Star Wars, but I felt compelled to before we did the quick look. Uh, and that took up a lot of time, but yeah, sorry, go ahead, Alex. I was going to say, so this is the early access release of Baldur's Gate 3, right? Yes, this is the early access version, yeah. This is the okay. La- Larian Studios taking on the Baldur's Gate franchise, which I think is a good thing. Uh, I had seen it in a preview event a long time ago and really liked what I saw. <clears throat> um, I want to get in there. I want to play it. I, I want to I wanna check it out. It's got four-player co-op, if anybody's interested in playing some, some D&D 5th edition rules uh in in that world yeah i haven't i can't talk to it yet i think rory's picked it up and uh, is also gonna try it out but that's my next thing i want to jump into invite me along i want to play D and okay. i miss playing D and as well even if it's in the video game form um hmm. what else did we play you watched you watched someone play something i watched week. brad play uh bug snacks or i watched a recording of brad playing bug snacks and uh that game I didn't expect the voice acting to be the thing that I was drawn to some of the the most in it, but I thought the voice acting was really good in the stuff I saw Brad play. The gameplay mechanics seem like it is put traps down to capture bugs, and that's the puzzle. How are you going to capture this bug? This bug has a unique way to capture it. How are you going to get it? And then once you capture the bug, doing stuff like feeding it to other people who don't seem to mind that their hands are turning into strawberries or, or carrots, but uh, maybe there's more on that. The story also seems cute in a setup – Uh, I guess there was an explorer who is now lost from that island. I'm not sure of the details, but it seems like an explorer settled this island, and now these bug snacks are running around, but uh, she is lost, and you're maybe going to find this explorer somewhere. It was only about 45 minutes of cut gameplay. From what you've seen of it, would you say the demographic is probably like children? No. I'd say it's one of those all ages things. Like, you know, it's probably like like, I would say demographic is probably Viva Pinata ish, right? Where it is. This is super cute. Kids will like it. Adults will, will it's find accessible, but yeah. also still fun for adults. Because I feel like there are some games that like balance that well, where it's yeah. like kids can play it and you can play it and you'll both have fun. And there are other games that's like kids can play it <laughs> and you can play it too if you really want to. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I think that that it's less of that. I, it didn't seem like okay. a Skylanders thing where oh man, this is really right. simplified in a way that uh, you might get bored in as an adult. It seemed cute and uh winkish enough like uh kind of like a good okay. pixar movie right that you feel like yeah. oh, okay there's stuff for the adults and stuff for kids uh, when i was watching it'll make you cry a lot it's gonna make you cry a lot and then yes um and then you're gonna She's wonder like, why they made four of them uh <laughs> turns out my hope he winds up liking it that'd be quite the reverse 
quite the reverse. <laughs> he got hot dog mm-hmm. fingers. That'd be, that'd be quite the change of events. Oh, now he's gonna you be like the preview. I thought. Just like, oh my god, I fucking hate this. And <laughs> just put, that would just be so weird. Let's put Rocket League back it. on. Um, it's it seems neat. Uh, uh, I, I after watching Brad play through some of it, I definitely want to pick it up. It did not turn me off. Um, cool. I'm stoked for that too. And it's gonna be on PS5, right? Like launch. At launch. Time? Yes, it is. Yeah, and uh, Brad was saying there's a. Um, I don't want to misquote him here about the version. No, misquote. No, you don't, you don't want to do that. I don't no, want to. Uh, do this this guy on the giant bomb bomb cursed said uh, brood shoecocker. The bomb kissed. The um, bomb kissed. <laughs> <laughs> brood. Wait, brood shoecocker. Yeah. Is that you talking about? Yeah, brood shoecocker. <laughs> I'd say. Listen, yeah. I, I just read what's in front of me. Uh, I wish that was the name. That, that. That's what I should have named Bootlicker. my Star Wars character. Brood Shoecocker uh, would have been a good Blard, name. Blard Bootlicker. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> I, I, anyway, my point being, I think he said there might be a, a uh, PS5 version. Um, uh, unlike yeah, Squadrons. There is. It's, it, there is. Yeah, it is. It's coming out launch day. Well, right. Not just a uh, backwards compatible, which Squadrons right, okay. will be backwards compatible, but not touched up for PS5 or Xbox um, Series gotcha. X. Gotcha. Yeah, so yeah, I, I think to... yeah, yes. go ahead. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I think Bug Snacks. I, I did not get into. Well, if I bought the PS4 version, will I be able to? You know, I did not get into that stuff. Right. Um, Alex, what's been going on in your neck of the woods? <laughs> not a lot. I uh, I was out of town for a couple of days. Sort of my last attempt to get out of the city before uh, everything inevitably locks down again in a few weeks. Uh, so I just, you know, I I mostly avoided playing video games outside of a little bit of Animal Crossing here and there. Um, the the Halloween event stuff is going on, so I have been growing pumpkins. Uh, my girlfriend has built an entire pumpkin patch. It looks really nice. Um, and has been crafting a bunch of the Halloweeny items. Uh, I have a bunch of candy now, which I have no idea what to do. I think at some point I'm supposed to gift it to the other villagers, but mostly I've been using it to collect ants. Um, and I played a bunch of Hades too. Like I'm still playing that. Uh, mm. I am making little bits of progress, uh, like getting one or two chambers further, w- usually with each run. So I feel like I'm making, I'm make, I'm making my way through it. But I'm also trying not to burn myself out on that game because it's real easy for me to. You're like, okay, well, that run wasn't good enough, so I want to do another one, and then realize, oh fuck, I've done like four or five of these. I should really stop now and do something else with my life. Um, because it's just, it's that much fun. It's, it's just a very good game. I haven't touched it uh, since last week, so, um, but I, I would like to go back to it. I hope I yeah. Can. And there was one other thing I've been playing, but it's a preview of a game I'm very much looking forward to, and I can't talk about it unfortunately until uh, next week, but. Mm. Uh, it is one I have been greatly looking forward to, and uh, so far it has been uh, more than meeting my expectations. Yes. So we'll we'll talk about that next week. Factorio, yep, Abby that's Russell, the one. Abby Russell, what you been up to? What have I been up to? Um, I've still been playing Oberdin. Oh, it's nice. My okay. nighttime in bed, solve a couple of <laughs> deaths game. It's been enjoyable. Been fun going through it again. Um, it's also just nice having it be like easy now because I'm like I like remember enough to be like yeah I can just fill in the, the spots. I also I played Don't Starve on stream with Ben. Yeah. Um, like last week and we played it a couple months ago I think or like a month ago, and I really like that game. And playing with Ben may just maybe be like man I just want to get into this game again. So I did wind up getting it for my Switch and I've been playing that as well. But I, because when I originally played that game, I played it primarily on my Vita when I was in college. It would be like between classes, mm. I would like sit in the library on my Vita and play that game. It didn't handle some of the stuff well. Like if there was like a lot of mm. like penguins running around, it could not handle it at all. Um, but I do really love that game and I'm eager to get back into it. I haven't really gotten far in the season because it's like a seasonal thing. So you like eventually have to survive winter and all this stuff. And I really haven't had a run where I've gotten very far yet. I'm just still, I'm getting my feet back into it, but I, I can yeah. feel myself already like wanting to look up the wikipedia and like strategy guides and stuff <laughs> but i really like don't starve and it seems to run well on the switch which is good but other than that i've just still been playing fortnite <laughs> my fortnite crew yeah have, have you have you played with saint vincent since the <laughs> the event it's a good question no i have not okay i will say we are still fortnite friends Nice. <laughs> okay and you um, will be forever yeah i i don't think she knows how to unfriend me which I'm okay. not going to show her how. Let's no. just say no, that. you shouldn't. Um, so you guys text a lot now and everything. You guys are friends. We're best friends. We're cool. besties. Uh, no, I did play Fortnite with Saint Vincent. I didn't talk about Fortnite to talk about this, but I will. Um, no, you, you should check it out on the site and on YouTube. 
Um, it was, she was incredibly kind and generous, generous with her time. If I wasn't a fan before, I would be now because truly she was so, she was very nice, <laughs> <laughs> which I was very appreciative of. I'm like, glad you didn't I say never the opposite. Point... <laughs> <laughs> but I like never at any point felt like she was like rushing to get off the call or mm. anything. Like she was really a cool, she was a good sport about it. Not only did she like agree to do this thing instead of sending me a restraining order, but she's also very like kind about it, yeah. <laughs> which was nice. Yeah, she's probably just scared, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what do I have to do? What do I have to do to have you she's stop being 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 this serious? She's just like, <laughs> she's just, she's just like, look, just be polite. It'll be fine. She'll go away. Just <laughs> laugh at her jokes. Just laugh so, at her jokes. <laughs> she says she's a comedian. Just do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was. It's a very. Uh, I liked it. It's a very enjoyable video thing. That's a uh, lot of people are calling it wholesome, which I I, I called it wholesome. I think. <laughs> I know you were yeah. the first to call it wholesome. You yes. got a little preview wholesome. of the video. Yeah. Vinny was on the wholesome situation. train. Sure. But a lot of people are... <laughs> we are a wholesome a lot of website. Are... They're calling it wholesome and charming. A wholesome hostage situation for the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Which is when I said that, um, I don't need to I don't need to qualify it, but it's something I said because because you don't get a lot of that. It it just doesn't, mm. you know, just these days you grind Certainly not on this side. <laughs> you gotta grab onto those things and uh and be like, <laughs> Oh, okay, look at this. This is just this is just a joy to yeah. watch. Um, that's good. that's nice to hear. People seem to like it, which I'm happy about. Until at the end, um, when you just start tearing down Bacalar, then it gets a little weird. <laughs> I'm surprised she, she like, went. <laughs> really got very excited for that. Get part. line. Get I like, asked her if she wanted to promote anything, and she's like, "Can we just go back to bashing Bacalar?" <laughs> And we're like who? We're like who's that? Oh, you mean Bergerfalar? Bergerfalar. Why is that Bergerfalar's guy? My, his mic is always so low. I just don't understand. Yeah, I'm Why sorry. Can, can you figure it out? And you know what I need to buy? I need to buy a cloud lifter. Mmm. Lifter Ooh. clouds. Yeah, lifter no. clouds. A little sweetener. A little, Ooh, little bit of that saccharin. A little bit of that oh, saccharin. saccharin. Yeah. What are you talking about? Oh, you're Ooh, tweaking it. Finger yeah. Too much. Too much of this. <laughs> a little too I don't much like tweaking. It. <laughs> Dial the knobs in. Um, no, I don't like it. I don't like it either. Abby, uh, Sorry, I'm going to sprinkling move on. sugar. I'm going to move on to uh, uh, Johnny. Yeah, that's what you're doing. Okay. Johnny's sugar what I will seed say, over here. I'm excited for all the Fortnite Halloween skins that are coming in. I got one. It's like a stripy dude. It's like a big pink head, and he's got teeth and nothing else. And I love him. Okay. Um, but more Halloween skins. Also, I'm ready for like a new season. I'm tired of Marvel. I think it's been a good season. I'm, I'm excited for the next one. I want to know what it is. Okay. My hope, because, okay, I'm going to talk about Fortnite for a second here. They wow. have little like hints around the world sometimes. Like they had like posters when they were going to bring in cars. And right now they keep having all these like gnomes looking at these like mini billboards. And what I hope is the next season is I hope it's like we're all small in a giant world. Like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids style. I don't think that's what it will be, but that's what I want it to be. Man, what if that cool. comes out and eats that? Uh, what was that other game where you're small in a giant world where we all play? Grounded. Right? Yeah, it comes out and eats that game's lunch. It's just like, oh, look, or we did it too. Game. Just eats <laughs> that game. It's just that game is like on the floor and they eat it. Backlog, what you been up to? Oh, nothing. I've been playing a bunch of Series X. Uh, I've been playing. Um, I've been playing Doom Eternal. Oh, on, on the console. Series X. Yeah, and like uh, Doom Eternal ran real well on on the One X, so I, I'm having a tough time seeing like a big moment to moment uh, kind of increase. But that game loads up in six seconds <laughs> on the Series X. I shit you not, probably a, a smidge under six seconds. And this so, is the thing we keep going back to for with all these games, right? Is that people just keep trying out how fast can we get this game to load, and it turns yeah. out a lot of them load very fast. Well, you were yeah, telling me, like, you were telling me like when you loaded Red Dead, it was super fast, and then the console just melted through the earth uh, and just just went right through the floor <laughs> and the, your first floor. <laughs> it just, just left a smoky, <laughs> a smoky chasm in its way. Uh, yeah. You know, you guys have seen heard the China syndrome where the the nuclear reactor is gonna, yeah, just gonna, yeah, and then uh, yeah, your console just. Shoop, like uh, when they pour those the drinks at Looney Tunes and the but that goes right through the bar. Yeah, uh, it was basically like you know, <laughs> dip from Roger Rabbit. Yeah, that's it right. Just <laughs> it just turned into a puddle. <laughs> oh man, now I gotta watch Roger Rabbit again. <laughs> um, you gotta watch Roger Rabbit again. Uh, I I I, that movie. I would yeah. maybe pay four hundred dollars to get Red Dead Redemption two to load up in not forty minutes <laughs> uh, because that that game takes that's a long time kind of the price it's kind of worth the price of admission um yeah so i've just been playing around with that stuff um there's there's more you know embargo stuff coming up where we'll have much more deeper uh looks and dives on that thing um 
here's some a question. More, some more software, which I, I'm starting to see games that are supporting some stuff, but that's all well, I okay. can say. Like, well, is, is one of the things that you're seeing supporting the sort of dynamic HDR stuff? Because I've seen some stuff coming out about that, and I'm oh, curious about it. You mean like a back and pack game that has like yeah, like HDR the, the, the sort injected of whatever, intravenously yeah. into it? Yeah, the, when they're just sort of papering over with their HDR effects. Hmm. I got to... I got to do some more of that. Um, I haven't, I haven't experienced that enough in a way where I feel good talking about it, but okay. Um, yeah, I need to go back and see just how many of those games actually do do that. I think I only know of a handful. So, okay. I also, I think some of them I might have to buy if I don't already have them. Okay. Uh, so some more, more coming. Just gift me some points. <laughs> no. Appreciate that. I spent um, all mine. Yeah, so just doing that. Um, I've been. Can't you um, can't you use your Game Pass stuff? You can use. I'm sure there's a couple of games on Game Pass that have HDR hmm. backfilled. Yeah, but some games that you just have in your Xbox library are that maybe they're not on uh, Game Pass. Okay. Um, there's I gotta see if there's any of those games on the list. Um, yeah. So there's still there's still a a good handful of games that are just not back and pat yet that you would think would be um so i you know to me that's still sort of confusing i don't know why i can't play as of this morning i I still can't play halo 5 on this thing um which i'm assuming by launch will just be there but you know it's just not a thing yet Mm. which i find interesting um but yeah i'm still playing with it uh still getting uh i've been using a lot of that uh that storage card and it's wild. You just pop that thing in and any game that's loaded on it just sort of like shows up mm. in the thing. So that's pretty huh. cool. Um, yeah. I mean, it's been pretty, it's been, you know, it's been pretty good. I, like I said, I, I'll have a lot more in the coming uh, days and weeks and um, yeah, that's about it for, for series <laughs> X right now. Very insightful. Thank <laughs> well, you. Jim. I, I don't know. It was like a very long way of just kind of like no, going. I'm not uh, saying anything. Um, yeah. Whoa. So uh, I got a I got a a code for uh, Cold War the beta that Ooh. I believe starts today. So I'm excited about that. I want to start I'm playing that. When is that supposed to come out? The game itself? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. I I, I don't know. I think no. I'm excited I'm, for more Call of Duty. Played a lot month. of that Modern Warfare. That one was fun. Uh, the Cold War release date is the 13th of November. That's soon. Yeah. Okay. That's a, yeah. that's a month away. It's crazy I mean, that's that that's soon. Year, right? That is like, so wild that that's soon, though. I think I wild is October. October. What's wild is I'm still playing Warzone. I'm still playing the last mm, one. Yeah, I mean, that's never happened. I've never like gone all the way up to the release of the new one. Oh uh, really? I will multiple times a week. I feel like I didn't for this one. I mean, I haven't played Modern Warfare in a while, and it also keeps trying to update. And I'm like, how much more space do you want on my PlayStation? Yeah, they um, want the, they want the whole thing, baby. They want uh, the they want everything. It's got to be theirs. But I feel like Call of Duty is such an easy game to be like. Yeah, I play this for months after it came out because it's like, it's not I, a game that needs to be like. It, it's repetitious by nature. You know, it doesn't mm-hmm. it, like you can play it a million times and it'll feel different. Something about this, I think. I think half of this is driven by the the. I think half of it's driven by COVID. Oh yeah. And I think half yeah. of it's driven by for me personally. For you. Um, okay. Well, I'm just saying, like, yeah, your place that you're what you've been doing. I'm, yeah. I'm just, I mean, I'm playing a lot of Fortnite time. because of COVID. I play, I play, like, exactly. I play with time, my, yeah. all my friends. It's the only way we really get to, you know, actively see each other all the time or hear each other all the time, rather. And um, I, I also think like it's been dynamic enough where the interest hasn't tailed off the way yeah. it, uh, the way it did in years past. And, and that's, that's definitely the bigger deal, I think for sure. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm stoked for cold war and to try out the multiplayer and see where all that goes. Um, I also, Whoa. my friends, I've, I've also, Oh, well, like this, I went, and, I went and fell down, a, um, another, another like rabbit hole thing. I did a no thing. more pinball. Now it is uh, Ferris no, wheels. I, I haven't moved on <laughs> from pinball. Pinball is still very much a thing. There's I don't know if you've seen the new Guns N' Roses uh, game that was announced. From I did oh, actually. I've been this. keeping up with us. No, I didn't. Uh, no, I, somehow I did see this. I totally saw funny. there's a Guns N' Roses pinball machine coming out. And I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty fucking dope. <laughs> like slashes top hats in the middle of the play field. Uh, like okay, like, but does it include? Does yeah, it include Steven Adler or does it include Matt Sorum? 
I feel like I can just look this up for you right now. It probably actually includes neither of them because it's it's the drummers. Like they're not going to put the drummers uh, from Guns N' Roses on that thing. Uh, Alex. Well, there's drumsticks that that act as a ramp in the game. Yes, that sounds exactly how much they care about the drummer in that band. That they are represented by the sticks. No, but that's cool as fuck, man. There's fucking drumsticks. I'm not saying that's not cool. Movement. Yeah, I'm just saying. Hey, we. I um, would like to use this opportunity to say, uh, not necessarily Guns N' Roses related, but maybe Guns N' Roses adjacent. Um, R.I.P. Eddie Van Halen. That uh, in in oh in, yeah in normal times that would be front page news. When I saw it happen, it was below the fold uh, because yeah. of a lot of other stuff going on. So in case you missed that, uh, yes, yeah. Yeah. I knew he'd been sick for a while, yeah. but uh, yeah. yeah, it was still it was still a shocker. Yeah. Yes. Sorry. He's pretty young. Very sick. Yeah. He's very sixties. Um, so are you, are you interested in this um, this guns GNR this table? table? I mean, look, I I'm not a diehard GNR person but i really like the the games that this company makes so hmm. i am absolutely interested in in playing it and it seems you know jersey jack does not come out with tables and, and games as often as like a stern right stern comes out with like three or four a year and these guys are like maybe one a year if that so um it just seems more involved that I think they have a much better grasp of like the RGB stuff and the lighting. And you know, the, the, the back glass has a screen, like a 27 inch screen. Jeez. It's like a, a major sort of like fidelity display. So uh, the stern ones have a much smaller screen and I think pound for pound, you know, maybe they're not as um, they're not as involved, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely excited to see it. People have like opinions. Some people don't like Jersey Jack games. I, I, I like, uh, I like a good half of them, I think. So I'm excited. Right. Can I, I get to? I don't know when I'm going to play this thing, but can I ask you a, a big question? If it's big, I want it. Yeah. Okay. What's the new? <laughs> what's your new thing? What's the rabbit hole? Oh, right. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Um, it's not a new thing for me. I just fell back into it. I, I kind of hmm. relapsed a little bit. Um, it's mechanical key keyboards. Oh, okay. Um, cool. But like yeah. in a way that I'm, I'm kind of like at a point where I'm going to like build my own sure. i feel like we've talked about this do you like yeah. them clicky do you like them clicky clacky so i'm a i like them clacky i don't like the so you're you're describing like a blue or, a, or i like want a like a blue wait what is it's like i ibm keyboards what are those old keyboards you know that that yeah. are like really loud and clacky mm -hmm. yeah. ibm right yeah, those all, uh, IBM. Yeah. yeah but it's all about the switch the switch this thing this is the thing that like oh right. yeah i have that same exact one this is the thing that makes the clack or not. Yeah. But I feel like they just remind me of those like old IBM keyboards. Will you make yeah. me one of those? Make me a classic yeah. IBM Got keyboard. It. It's in the mail. Okay. The so so clar clarify something for me here, Jeff. Yes, when you so, say you're going to make your own keyboard, what the fuck does that mean? Because like okay. you're not molding that plastic. <laughs> what are you doing? You just buy the pieces and then put a pretty letters on them. You just pick yeah, the like colors. when someone makes a PC or builds a piece, I'm going to build a keyboard. I'm not going to make a keyboard. I'm going to build a keyboard. But do the they you sell the PC? You're going to assemble. The keyboard, keyboard parts separately yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so i know I, you can get like the keys like that's how people have those crazy colors yeah so oh. well that's the key caps those are yeah. the separate caps that you can put on pretty much anything here's here's know. the long and short of it last week i was talking with a friend oh you guys might know aram we have a friend aram in yeah. the industry um and him and i were going back and forth about keyboards <laughs> and he had tweeted something and i was like oh dude that's sick i love that cute and then he introduced me to someone on YouTube uh, who goes by Bad Seed Tech. This is a guy uh, Brian. He's <laughs> like, like a really, uh, he's a really intense and 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 likable dude. And I went down a rabbit hole with him, and we were talking. How about, many rabbit holes do you go down, man? I'm like seven layers below the surface of the earth right now. It is. I'm in it to win it. I jumped right back in just because I felt like I haven't had an, a, a, ho a new hobby lately. Like, is this the most busy time of year with all the new consoles coming out? Sure. Sure it is. But like, it sure is, you know, there's other things that I want to concentrate on and, and fill my free time with my family's here. They're fine. I'll get to see them. But for now, let's build You're some fine. keyboards. Whatever. <laughs> all right. They're I, safe. I, They're I, sleeping. It's fine. I do have some, um, I do have some questions for you. If you don't mind, I want to keep you're... talking for a second. Then you okay. can ask questions. No, nope. um, I got to cut so you off. I, so Aram's like, go check out bad seed tech. I watched like in a mm -hmm. weekend, I probably watched 20 of this guy's videos. He's a very good uh, YouTube host. Excellent channel. Go check it out. I then fell into this, ASMR ver, uh, part of this hobby okay. that 
I know, Alex. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh, I just fell right. It was like a, it was like a drain. I was just like, oh. Do you watch like people on keyboards like so, as you fall asleep? So I will say no. Okay, so <laughs> there's this. So there's this uh, keyboard uh, streamer. He he's like probably the most popular one. His name is Teha Types. This oh, dude, that's this is good. Dude Nathan, this is dude Nathan. Uh, and he does, and he builds, he does these Twitch streams while he builds a board and you know, you got the guy, there's many people watching our show right now is watch him build a keyboard. I have a question. Live. About this, but continue. And then, you know, and, and it's not just like, you know, some of it's soldering and putting all the, 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 you know, the switches on the plate and then the PCB and soldering it to the PCB and then putting a plate on. But then it's like the sound it all makes once you get them in there. And then I, I uncovered this other thing where people, and again, uh, there's a lot of people watching the show that probably already know about this. I just learned this in a weekend. I had a crash course. People open up these switches mm. and then apply their own lubrication to them to change the way they sound oh, wow. or feel and it's awesome <laughs> jeff right now you're describing watching us someone on, online uh, okay 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 back up because apply you... lubrication to make it no feel no so they, good. you don't stream your lubing come on that's just the thing you do <laughs> okay i'm sorry <laughs> you, gotta Wait, my question only is... you gotta start an only fans for that yeah. so 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 but, uh, uh, hear me out hear me out hear me, let me just I tell my story questions. and then i'll field okay, questions i uh, promise okay. everyone will get called on okay um but uh, I don't like. I'm not watching a stream being like, oh, because it's very slow. It's you know, it's not a, it's not a, it's like a four hour thing. But if I keep it on my upper screen and I'm working on my lower screen, just the sound and just, just that you know, when people are like, I just need a TV in the room. I get you. Know you. What I mean? Yeah, like, I got you. He plays this really uh, intoxicating music in the background, and it's like this bed, and it's just, it's just, he's. There's a certain thing that it does for me that I'm into for now uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> and i'm in and i like it and it seems like everyone in that scene's pretty good and i'm i'm stoked on it anyway anyway fast forward to now and you know i'm i'm building a keyboard okay questions time right now question, yes? question time. time okay uh, when Abby. teha types that's his name right when yeah. teha types make a, a computer or a keyboard afterwards does he stream him like playing typing games yes <laughs> <gasps> really so his so his following is very involved and they so what they'll do is so he'll build the first he like introduces it you know it's very it's very like casual it's a really nice kind of hangout thing when he's all done with the build he will do a typing test because this dude rips on typing <laughs> tests farts. Types no, rips farts. he <laughs> no and then everyone in his in his twitch chat will like guess the words per minute he's gonna get and he's got like these mods who like you know turn on you know some like trigger you know thing I that like i love people... this it's it's uh, look there's a zen factor to the whole thing that is like very satisfying and again i don't know how long i'll be like <laughs> knee deep in it but like i can definitely appreciate a good keyboard it's the thing I use probably the most behind my, my phone. And, um, yeah, like I, it's wild. The amount of all the variety of switches and the, and the keycaps and the whole thing. I mean, there's a lot of interesting stuff that we can get to like on, on the new podcast I'll be hosting about it. But <laughs> it's, hmm. Wait, I've know, got my question. I want my question. Okay. Yeah. What's up? What are we doing here? Are we talking full size, 10 keyless, 60%, 70%. What are we talking? What are you Got going the number for? Pad? So, yeah. What are we doing? Here's the thing. And, and, and Brian from, uh, from bad C was like so helpful and, and just like an instantly awesome person to, to be in touch with and talk to about this. So my personal thing is I need that number pad. Mm, I need you're the going full? Pad. Mm. Mm. So, so TKL, which is mm. 10 keyless, which is basically, you know, you're chopping off that number pad. Yeah. It's kind of not what I want to do. You can do a switch. You can do the toggle, right? Where, you, where it toggles uh, the number pad on uh, some of the other keys, right? The programmable uh, ones. You, you could, but I don't know how popular that solution mm. is. Anyway, my whole thing is like, I really want that. I guess I'm okay with the TKL, which is also, isn't that also called an 80%, right? Yeah. That's a 10 keyless. The lowest I'd go is probably like 65. So 65 basically chops off the whole F row and it's you intense. just have you just basically have like, you know, from the if you're looking at your keyboard from the tab to like the enter and that's all you have. 
all the number row and that's it down to the space bar and that's it that's about 65 i think okay. uh, and you maybe get a couple other keys to the, to the right but uh, I want something called an 1800 layout, which basically takes the arrow keys and smushes them in between the numpad and the regular standard. Yeah, that my my uh, keyboard's like that. Yeah, mine oh, is, is too. Yeah, where but, no, but above your arrow keys, you still have like insert home page up. Yes, page. I do. Yeah, I'm, they remove all that and kind of just. Like oh, they put it above it. it. Okay. Yeah, like imagine those arrow keys are like that Tetris. Yeah, shape. no, that's mine. They it, uh, it's the um, CM Storm is what I have. Okay, I'll I wish check I could hold out. it up. I don't know. Cool I don't guy. Know if I can hold it up. Uh, can you see? Um, yeah. Ah, can you see my keyboard? Oh yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. Oh, oh, you. But you don't have arrow keys. Uh, they're down. Your here. keyboard looks they're... like it came out of the <laughs> Matrix. <laughs> oh, your arrow keys go or are, are your number pad mm -hmm. keys? Mm -hmm. you yeah, mm -hmm. but do any of you? Do any of you have two keyboards on your desk? Yes, I what, do. What? what? Oh, okay. Yes, here's oh, my other one. Right <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we all have two keyboards because we're, right right. right. we're all because we're all rocking like seven computers right now. <laughs> I'm the only prick with that one multiple keyboards. Um, so yeah, like, and then there's certain boards that you don't have to solder. You can just like use one of these things. It's, it's a it's a switch puller, and you just like pull it out of the board, and you can hot swap your yeah. own. Keys. I'm in it. I'm in it to win it. I'm going for it. I'm to not win what. Win the keyboard, Best keyboard around where I'm All happy right. with how it sounds. Cutest keyboard in town. So, look, that's that's my deal right now. Go check out those those YouTubers because I I just it's so satisfying. I think like it it, it took like four videos mm. before I was like, <laughs> oh I oh I get this and it, this is speaking to me in a way that I am down for. Two things. Two you things I would it. just like let's, to add, not really questions. It. One is a couple of questions. One's more of a comment. I'll start with a comment. When you said that there was an ASMR like component to this whole thing, mm -hmm. I genuinely just imagined like some YouTuber like putting on like, you know, giantly press on nails and then just like dragging them over a mechanical keyboard, oh like making God. clacking sounds for people. I, I assume there's someone out there that probably does that. I mean, because that's how I know ASMR to be. Yeah, maybe like fucking Elvira is doing that shit or something, but I don't know. Because if Elvira was doing that shit, I'd be watching it. Okay, <laughs> and I, let's and be we'd real. Know about it. We'd fucking know. <laughs> yeah, about it. I would know. I oh, uh, I would love for Elvira to do that. So Two, uh, yeah, that'd be dope. The, qu yeah. the question: uh, yeah. Is there anyone in this uh, borderline erotic scene that Not goes erotic. by the name? It goes by the name the Keymaster because that oh, does feel like it really should kind of be a thing, right? Yeah. Nope, I just need to register a URL. Yeah, that's the, you can you can take that job right now. That could be you. That could be your new personality. Uh, yeah, I don't. I'm, I'm sure there is someone. I don't know. Uh, right. if people are really uh, uh, you know, keen on hearing the videos that I've been or watching the videos I've been looking at, hit me up on Twitter and I'll happily uh, send you the may, links. Do any of you know if this is true? <clears throat> Have you ever tried the different uh, layouts for keyboards, like the Dvorak or any of those other ones that are not oh, already? I've, I've like used someone's keyboard in like Europe and been like, this ain't right. Like that. <laughs> yeah. You just wind up typing like cross <laughs> some um, It just I've seems like, like those belong on like the space shuttle and like some nuclear well, power. So, so what are you yeah. talking about? So, 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 I don't know what you're referring so to. So there are different there are different layouts. QWERTY is what we use. And, and I don't know if this right. is like a, a myth or not. People in chat can tell me that the QWERTY layout was basically holdover from typewriter days where they didn't want people to type that fast because the typewriter keys would jam. So they actually spread out the the letter the the you know, how a typewriter works, it smashes the thing. So they spread the ones yeah. out that are used the most together on the right and left hands so they wouldn't jam together when they're using them. And that is the holdover from the typewriter days. It's not necessarily the most efficient for oh. keyboards. Uh, and I. Then and why it, is it different in like Europe? Uh, in Europe, I think they just. I, I, thought, thought, they I just, thought it was based on. Well, like they have the different the alphabets. They, frequency. you know, they diff different yeah. languages. Yeah. But like, anyway. Uh, but I don't know enough. if that's I don't know if that's true or not. That's I don't know if that's just a. Oh know. wait, what's the other one? Is there like did, they, did someone come up with like a more efficient one? Or yeah, something? totally. So they people have come what up with called? ones. Uh, there's, like I said, there's Dvorak. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, what are the other ones called? I that's how it come looks up. like it's pronounced. Dvorak. Um, I just keep thinking you're saying Zorak, but yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's a couple <laughs> of the Zorak keyboard. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing I think is so weird about that. Well, not weird, but you know, you you see all of those variations, right? You see like all of those things offered in like, you know, whether it's like keycap, you know, uh, buys or whatever. 
but you never hear about people using it. You just see that it's offered. Like you could buy this thing in that format, but when you go through like all the subreddits and stuff, you just don't see that that often. I'm not saying it's not a thing. It just it does not seem to be a super popular way to to have a keyboard uh, laid out. Hmm. Um, yeah, it's weird. Like a switch uh, works very similar to the way like a lot of targets on a pinball machine work. It's mm. basically these like leaves that have to touch. So I thought that was a fun little uh, thing. I guess that's just like electronics and circuitry <laughs> 101. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's new to me. Um, it's a fun. So yeah, it's it's a fun it's and fun. very like it's a it's a I got there for a little bit, not as deep as you're going, yeah. but like, you know things like bottoming out and you know the, the right. you know key pressure actuation and forces, actuation and all that stuff. Like that. i got into it for a little bit enough to get that that little key tester uh and then to be like i like this i like the sound and the feel of this and then realized i need a second keyboard because i can never use this while i'm recording or playing games because it clicks and clacks too much so now i just have to go back to that chiclet keyboard uh so if i play a game in the studio or something you don't hear clicking yeah, I mean, I, you know, I was into it, uh, I want to say like four years ago, I got super into it, but from what uh, I've been told and how it's been explained to me, that scene has just hmm. exploded in the last year and a half, two and a half years. Um, I think a lot of people in the last eight months are also looking for new hobbies, maybe, and this kind of, this is a very therapeutic or can be a therapeutic slash you know relaxing meditative thing as well so i think uh i think it's kind of hitting all the right beats okay uh and for me i'm just super into it and i I just like getting invested in a new yeah kind of community and like meeting people and yeah i've definitely had like a fast track to like some of the, the the people in it but it's been it's been really rad to see so i'm stoked see i like lurking in a new community and never engaging and then just um n- not yeah. really participating but trying it's called to the Vinny approach yeah take the all Vinny the information approach. out um listen well, i said I feel like that's how most people approach that stuff yeah, yeah. look and don't, I, don't I, I, i'm not joining the discord uh, uh for the like miniature painting miniature painting well you're missing out you're I know, missing yeah. out what, what um what switches are you? What kind of switch person? Um, I think I got I think I got either browns or reds. Uh, there might be maybe the reds for the because they're a little quieter. Uh, for the gaming oh, okay. keyboard I have, and then the other one I have on that I have underneath this one. Are they blues? They're definitely clickier. Um, so they're probably blues. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So one, you know, one for type and uh, one for fun. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> you know, <laughs> got my keyboard for my keyboard for business, my keyboard for fun. You know, when I'm just like, mm-hmm. uh, there is definitely something to. I don't love writing that much, and sometimes I have to do writing for work, and um, occasion occasionally less nowadays. Uh, but the uh, there's something to having a thing that you enjoy hearing and, and using and physically touching too. Mm-hmm. It's, it's very similar to that Star Wars thing, right? The tactile feel makes the, a difference in that game to me. To yeah. Using a controller, we can't yeah, stay here I mean, this much longer. We got to move on. From no, it. I know. I, I I'll let you know. Like if people want to get more involved in it and find out more, just just hit me up. I'll, I'm happy to share all my dirty details about what I'm doing with my build. So keyboard eroticism expert <laughs> Jeff Bacalar is here to help you with your bottoming out and your yes. switches. <laughs> That's right, <laughs> lubing and your out. Yep. Yeah. yeah yeah there's no there's no joke to be made there it's just yeah. completely fine it's, it's yeah. a very safe place totally. to just talk about your mm-hmm. lube and your bottom um okay. did you want to talk about anything uh, else jeff yeah real quick uh i told i spoke about this a couple of weeks ago about the mouse that you and i use that uh swift point z right yeah mm-hmm uh, my, my middle, my thing broke. I reached out to them through the customer service thing. Mm-hmm. And what I received back is nothing short of insanity. They basically sent me like a very heavily detailed 20 step PDF that shows me how I can fix their mouse oh. and it has to do with like, and like first is like the parts list <laughs> and then it's like this detailed thing where i need to basically remove a lot of it hmm. and just clean off a certain thing and at this point i don't know what jeff know. send it to me yeah. and i'll do it and yeah. then I'll keep it. <laughs> yeah yeah I, you and everybody else who's listening to this uh contact i, I want jeff. that cool fancy mouse it is very I, cool. It's cool i love that mouse I don't know if it's worth it to do what I'll I need to do. I'll clean your hand out, your hand gunk out of there. Let me have it. I just it. thought that was a fun update. Also, update the everyone seems to 
seems to think, I believe, that the new 3080 drivers are like good. Fi- oh, fixing the issues. That's good. Yeah, that seems good. Uh, I've also been using this um, Astro A20. Oh. And this is um, this is really cool because it lets you swap back and forth. I'm playing this. I'm using this for my Series X and my PS4. And all I need is a little USB dongle and you're done. Hey, um, I feel like we've never had that before. That's the A20? Pretty- this is the A20. A20 wireless. For, it's wireless, and I think it goes for a, a buck twenty. Oh, it's got okay. USB C um, and these little USB dongles. So it comes with so you can buy it for PS4 or Xbox. It comes with that version of the dongle. Hmm. And then I think for like I don't know, it's cheap, whatever the, the other dongle is. You just buy the other dongle and then you could swap back and forth between that's consoles. neat just like on a thing on that's the headset neat. yeah that's that's yeah, cool that's, neat. Like that's that. what i've been wanting forever yeah. yeah uh i feel like you you've always had to like macgyver your way and and figure out your own kind of solution yeah but and they sound pretty good so i've only been using them for like 3 or 4 days but is there a wired I'm, I'm, a20 that's a lot cheaper like uh, like 40 bucks you know i i want to say like i don't know Somebody I said picked up a bunch uh, an A20 for, and they said it was like 40 bucks and I was like that sounds way too cheap for a set of Astros. Uh make sure you, you spell Astro with yeah. four A's, right? And I was like no, that's not right. Um yeah, uh, I, don't, I, don't I don't know. I don't know if the previous one was wired or hmm. wireless. That's I'm cool though. I'm glad to hear that. Um Yeah, this is this is working out really well and it's it's comfortable. We've already been playing a lot of Call of Duty with it, so rock and roll uh any jeff anything else see you know sometimes sometimes we forget i'm a person too you're a hardware guy Mm. you got hardware yeah i've got hardware um keyboard keyboards headphones video cards it's like i I own a i own a soldering iron good for you i'm fun i i too am a threat (laughs) i too am a threat Uh uh-huh so uh, yeah it's been it's been an interesting you know week so yeah that's all i got though all right. It uh, has been an interesting week, hasn't it? They now, they a have, lot has I happened agree. You know, in I'm, the week since I'm, we last all met. I'm waiting for the un- very true. uninteresting week is actually at this point what I'm waiting for. I'm, mm, I'm, dying oh, I'm desperate for, for one of those. Yes. Yeah. I don't think that'll happen for a while. But keep, <laughs> no, keep definitely, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> Good luck, I'm, Vinny. I'm not, I'm not lying to myself about where we're headed and where things are going. <laughs> I just, you know, sometimes every once in a while it's good to just sit down Look it straight in the face and go, boy, this is fucked up. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, yep. I'm waiting. Yep. I'm waiting for the week when uh, guitar hero Eddie Van Halen passes away, and it's the top thing on the newspaper, uh, and that's the front page instead of mm. like, oh, let me find this article because all this other stuff is happening in the world. Uh, I mean, I've got a copy. I've got a copy of Guitar Hero Van Halen right over here. If you <laughs> that's want. smart. We're good. It, good. It's, it's it's it works as far as I know. Put it on top of a newspaper, and I'll be happy. Um, all right. All right, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back in a, in a few minutes. Everybody, go get some water, hydrate, use the restroom. Mm-hmm. Uh, like they say in my kids' uh, virtual classes, I, t- I, I told you to use the restroom during the break. I, you cannot, you got to use the, got to use the restroom, do it during the break. So um, don't fail. You need to, if you need to fuck your keyboards, do it during the break. <laughs> 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 all right bye everybody we'll be, back in, of, of we'll be back in a couple we'll be back in a couple oh of, that's yeah. what that's for okay <laughs> bye everybody see you in a few, see you in a few minutes don't go away bye and we are back and it is time to go over uh, some of that news uh, in the video game world alex navarro you've gone through plucked the video game news apples from these fall trees and what do we have a lot of um hardware related news today some of which i'm going to rely on our our resident keyboard fucker jeff (laughs) to uh, to help me out with um (laughs) that doesn't doesn't mean i'm i'm not uh, it's not Uh, fucking fucking afk always fucking keyboards yeah i know i've seen i've seen you type it yeah. Hey guys. No, I'm a- hey, hey guys. I'm a- hey guys. I'm AFK. Uh, like yeah, it I does know now. You. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have a lot of phone calls tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's up, Alex? All right. Well, Jeff. So maybe you can help me out with this one because I, I haven't had a chance to watch the video or understand what's going on there. But I know AMD had an event today. Did they oh, not? I'm not helping you with shit. I, I, I... <laughs> I'm not asking you to fuck the AMD chips. I'm just asking you to let me know what's going on with them. That's all. I'm, I'm already. <laughs> very much engaged with uh 
mm-hmm. with a 65 percent mm-hmm. so, uh, so uh no you, but seriously I, I haven't been following this fucking news, okay. so you're on your own. <laughs> all right well there's there's new amd chips we'll skip over that one then uh i bet wait the wait 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 wait, wait, wait 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 what's that what is there are those DM, amd chips got announced they they did a thing for them is they right? did a thing today. Okay. I again, I was okay. not really paying attention to it. That is something more for the uh, the the hardware fuckers of the world. So I was just hoping for maybe a little bit of assistance here yeah. from from our resident uh, uh, heart uh, keyboard love maker, but uh, apparently not today. So okay, okay. All right, what else you got, Alex? We'll, we'll maybe circle round well, round back. Okay, maybe Jeff, you paid attention to this one, uh, the video that Sony put out where they were straight up tearing down the PlayStation Five. Uh, that's out there, uh, and we got a. a a good long look at the uh, the hoverboard sized heat sink <laughs> that lives inside of that thing. The thing that you could fucking ride ride like a like a surfboard on the biggest waves. It is enormous. That thing is insane. <laughs> it's large. It's very large. It's I don't large. Know what you can say about it. Um, yeah. 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 So Sony went and uh, I did watch uh, most of this. Sony had a very uh, I thought very relaxing video of a teardown mm-hmm. of their hardware. Um, ASMR like. Did they lube say? any of the pieces? Uh, they did not, unfortunately. They did not lube any of them or put them in compromising positions or doing anything like that. The <laughs> thing that they did uh, show, though, which I thought was interesting, and I think of note is, uh, uh, you know, Abby, you know, the shell that is around that thing, the wing like. Yeah, the big plastic the, wings. Yeah, the, uh, the, it gives it that form factor. That shell can come off and is detachable in a user yeah. serviceable way which means i'm watching it, it now but it, like yeah expect oh, that the uh, base that ex- <laughs> expect wow, expect special. um aftermarket uh uh shells is yes. what i think this the the, yeah, the georgia so. o'keefe like <laughs> nature of that might be replaced with uh, uh other uh uh shells let's form say factors yeah form factors um so yeah i think uh that was really interesting i, I like the um expandable um uh, memory slot that is just inside there after you peel that thing off. I thought that was cool for the M2 uh, uh, memory. Uh, and then it's just fun to see him take the whole thing apart and lay it out on a table. He's trying to take a little digital foundry approach to that thing. Which, But listen, I like it. I like the size which of that fan. I, think, I also think I'm watching them like take the like base because there's the stand that you can have it sitting, make it sit upright or sit it on its right. side. And it's really smartly engineered and smartly designed. I don't know. I really, the PS4, it's a weird looking machine, but it's really growing on me. I kind of like it. It looks like a weird museum. Some people hate it, but yeah, I, I, I don't mind the natural state of that thing. I do think the disc drive on it still looks like an afterthought, uh, on the, oh, yeah. Own, yeah. Yeah. It looks like a goiter. I, yeah. I, I, it's big, right? I mean, yeah. yeah I mean, it's a honking machine. It's I don't care about the size, but it is big. That's See, large. I do. That's the thing I care about. Like the weird form factor. Like whatever. Fuck that thing up any way you want. I don't care. Like make it the dumbest looking box imaginable. I can live with that. It's just the size considerations that I have had some struggles with. I mean, yeah. It, I mean, just next to this, you know, gentleman, it just looks humongous and we have yeah yeah, they need like a quarter for size or something (laughs) next that thing because we have no idea how big the person taking it apart is uh they do look (laughs) like they're in that room from willy wonka where he shrinks the little kid the cowboy kid and then so Mm -hmm. we we don't know what happened he wants to be a part of the tv (laughs) yeah Yeah, exactly look at me i'm next to a ps5 um <laughs> and uh the other thing that was funny in there was liquid metal which looks like they yeah. had, which looked like they had like a T2 which is <laughs> they had yeah. like well we had to shave off a part of a terminator to cool our fucking power chip I hope you're happy uh don't don't let any don't m- let more than four of these come in, <laughs> in close proximity to each other it could form in and uh and and kind of put a knife through your face while you're trying to drink milk um so that was weird with the liquid metal cooling maybe that's a thing I don't know but when I am somebody who is not as tech savvy sees that. It's impressive. I think it's becoming more of a thing. Like I, I do believe this is the first console to use that kind of liquid metal uh, cooling solution. And I mean, between that and the heatsink, I think we're finally starting to understand why those stories were coming out about them having issues sourcing those parts <laughs> and getting that shit together. Because boy, that thing looks like a complicated piece of business. I need to look up what the liquid metal is. It, it, it liquid metal is like a fish sandwich. Like the metals have names, you know. Like, uh, me- right. like what it, metal like, is it? What what like oh, it's uh, a sandwich? Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha, it, gotcha, like the, yeah. like there is. You could just say hey it's it's you know it's mercury at room temperature you know what is going on is it this metal under a vacuum that stays at uh liquid state like what what is actually in there i'm sure it's available uh otherwise i'm just gonna have to buy one of these and cut that thing open and, and figure out what the heck is in there and, and that sounds dangerous I, 
I don't know if that's the I don't know if that's the immediate move. <laughs> I'm just like, I think it is. I support it. Right this second. I'm oh god, like, I made a mistake. Put it back uh, in. Got, it's, it's, like, it's, like, oh, it's like it's all going down to my arms. Uh, oh god. Let's suck out the liquid metal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um so, yeah. on fire. What's cool though? I, um you know, yeah. I uh I, I was fun it was is fun to watch. First time is it the first time Sony has done one of these officially? I don't remember seeing them do that for the PS4, but I could be just misremembering. I don't know. This is I this is the... I can't I can't think of a time I can remember a a console manufacturer putting out their own teardown video. Like that's just not a thing I remember very much of. It can't be though. Like we've had so many consoles and so much time. They must have done this before, right? Yeah, but like back like when the PS4 and the like the Xbox One and all that shit came out, like tear down videos were not necessarily no. like as prevalent a thing that's a good point that's a good point um it's i like exploded things too like i like when you know when they do like exploded diagrams of stuff and that's what it kind of looked mm -hmm. like when he took it all apart uh, yeah it's neat you should watch it people i watched more of it than i thought i would after he just kind of Me started too. unscrewing stuff and peeling it apart and he's like oh yeah look at that giant fan it goes all the way through the yeah that's satisfying. cool yeah satisfying um so yeah, I, uh, like I said, I think the biggest thing for me was the shell coming off and not breaking. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, I can break yes. off all the tabs, and you can, it can, it's supposed to come off because there are user serviceable things underneath it, and then the um, slot for the memory, which was, I thought was good to see. Yeah. Uh, what's what else? Well, one more little small note of Sony business here. Uh, so with the PS5 the uh the long international nightmare of the difference between the x button being the confirm button and the circle button being the confirm button between japan and the rest of the world uh -huh. will officially be unified and uh, who wins the cross button wins um by sheer i'm guessing by just sheer math of the number of places they sell playstations where people use the x button versus the, the circle button yeah. they did the mental math and were like all right this is this is who wins but so Japan, the Japanese PS5s will use the X button for a confirm. It will be unified across all the different systems, <laughs> across the different regions. Uh, and just based on the, you know, uh, anecdotal scuttlebutt that I saw floating around about this, the, the mix of reactions is about what you would expect. <laughs> Some players being like, this is the worst thing ever. What the fuck are you doing? And a bunch of people being like, <laughs> who cares? They were going to rip the Band-Aid off eventually yeah. anyway. You know, this sucks, but what are you going to do? I mean, I, like, think... I get it. If you're used to it one way and they're finally changing it after literally the fifth iteration <laughs> of this system, sure. you know, 25 years down the road. <laughs> yeah, I get it. You, I, I would be annoyed too, but it was going to happen eventually. I th I hope that some developers put an option in there to change it and like and drag this thing out for a whole other generation. But like uh, an option in the menu is to be um, cro it's officially cross, right? It is not X. It is officially PlayStation. It is officially it known button. as the cross button. Cross yes. button. Yeah, that's our next battle. If we can get them to just uh, uh, notify or officially change it to the X button, uh, then uh, then we will have completely dominated and taken over. Well, yes, that's a fun little thing. <laughs> what else? Uh, the only other thing I, I grabbed here, because this is uh, relevant somewhat to my interests, uh, Mortal Kombat 11 has another, uh, pa like combat pack, I guess is what they call them. The, the collections of, of new characters coming, uh, it will involve two classic combatants, Melina okay. and Rain. Okay. I mean, and Melina was one of the more, uh, oft demanded characters yes. i'm gonna say is the word i would use uh if you ever read ed boone's mentions uh <laughs> melina is in there a lot is what i will say uh and rain you know the purple ninja named after prince everyone loves him um but there's also there's one more character oh one more of their guest a new guest character oh the um, steve from minecraft no okay it's like they it's like they do things just for dan they do <laughs> this one's just for dan this is for you dan John Rambo. Oh, you're welcome. I, I Dan. don't know, I don't know if that's John. I, I, don't know. I feel like that wouldn't be Dan's first pick, but I, I see what you're saying. Post traumatic stress disorder, Vietnam uh. veteran John Rambo is coming to Mortal Kombat to shoot some dudes in the face. He's a, I don't think they should have guns in fighting games. Mm, I don't like it. A, it doesn't make sense to me. Well, Stryker so, would like to pick a bone yeah, with you. <laughs> so that's the thing. In general, I agree with you, but there is precedent for this. Stryker, who is a cop uh, since Mortal Kombat 3, has also had a move where he just straight up shoots people with a gun. I don't think that makes any sense, and I don't like it. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't fit. Well, oh, they, That's what doesn't make sense in Mortal Kombat? I, I'm, 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 a punch fight. I'm kind of with you, Abby, 
but the people just shoot spikes and stuff out of their faces anyway. So yeah, it, you it's know, like, uh, but I, but I I understand the sentiment, uh, and Boring, I think and I, don't like I think it. putting it Rambo in this um, against uh, 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 R- Rambo not known for the martial arts or kicking <laughs> or, i mean neither is neither is robocop but robocops that, game, that is so, very I fair mean, you're right and, and the terminator is in it as well right okay yeah yes. we, okay yes we are we are beyond this now yes <laughs> rambo go in there and draw first blood do what you need to do i hope you feel better rambo you just wanted to live your life uh my yeah. sincere hope is that his friendship move is just a title card that comes up at the end of the fight set that says this fight is dedicated to the brave mujahideen fighters of afghanistan <laughs> I hope his fatality is uh, uh, gonna need a whole lot of body bags and just uh, 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 what's his Colonel Colonel what's his name Colonel John Rap Okay, forget it. I've lost the thread. Yeah, you're, I've, it's, you've uh, lost the thread uh, on this one. Body body blow bags. Uh, great. When does that come out? Uh, I think in November. Okay. Great. Soon. You think he has an? Ex- did they show video of him? Does he have an exploding arrow? Uh, they showed a quick trailer where Rain and Molina spend most of it fighting, and then at a certain point, he just sort of shows up and just starts firing gun. Also, by the way, it is Sylvester Stallone's voice. They okay. they got him to buh, do it. Buh, so, buh. Um, hey, hey, no spoilers here, but um, before the start of this game, isn't Molina dead? Yes. Oh, what uh, does that that's... matter? Oh, it doesn't. Yeah, no, it's context... a time travel game. It doesn't matter at all. I just it, well, that was the reason she wasn't in it initially. Um, mm. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Hey, hey, you can work around anything when you've got time travel, right? You can bring Rambo sure, into your yes. game. All right. <laughs> um, I'm looking at That's this AM, AMD news, and I feel like if I open my mouth, I'm just going to be wrong about it. So maybe we'll spend more time looking at this and come back to it. I, I was seeing if their yeah. video card that, stuff was announced. That's, yeah, that stuff hit. Uh, I was very. I remember when it hit. I was very busy. I unfortunately couldn't watch the thing happen, and then I just sort of forgot. So forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it sounds like o- October twenty eighth, like <laughs> October twenty eighth for the GPU stuff. So uh, okay. maybe we circle back around to it soon. Uh, yeah, I'm very curious about that stuff, and I've been actually thinking about building an AMD machine in the near future. So it is interesting. Is that because you can't get a hold of an NVIDIA card? Is that why? No, no, no. A- AMD CPU with the, like one of those thread rippers for work. I was talking about doing some virtual machine mm. stuff and um, virtualizing on those, and they seem okay uh is that it for the news that's kind of it for the news right i mean look we're getting ready for these consoles to come out you know everyone's just kind of gearing up getting ready doing their thing getting their their john rambos ready for uh <laughs> for the console launch uh, yeah. i will say as an addendum to the mortal Kombat thing i learned today that the 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 ps5 and xbox series x upgrade for that game will be free okay for anyone who owns it okay um so that is it turns out you can do that if you want to weird <laughs> who knew <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? It was not all you needed was Rambo. Uh, the uh, yeah. uh, just quick check here once again, Alex. You are in on both of these right now on pre-orders: PS5 and Xbox uh, Series X. Backlard zero. I'm sorry. Say it again. You, you have not well, pre-ordered one already. You haven't pre-ordered any of these. Nothing. I have nothing. And Abby, you have not pre-ordered either of these, right? No. Okay. Somebody did send me, and this is just sounds like it's one of those like auto, you know, fart things from uh-huh. uh, auto game. fart game stop uh but they got something that said uh would you like to review your playstation 5 bundle you know oh. like as like a follow-up yeah. from their pre-order click that link yeah go click ahead. this link and okay. give this thing one to five stars <laughs> i was the screen grab's pretty good uh i um i would say if i if somebody sent me a non-competitive way to get one right now i would probably pre-order it you know what i mean like if there was a way where i didn't have to rush and refresh a bunch of things uh, i feel like i'm there too yeah uh but i so wait are, Je- are jeff and i the only ones who got both i think so i think we might be uh you got okay. both Dang. yeah yeah I didn't have to work that hard at it. That's why I went yeah. with it. I was like, oh, I found a link that worked. Cool. You know, like I, I spent maybe 20 Still minutes total of, refreshing for both of them. What a lot so. of console to buy. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. It is is a whole lot of console. All right. Uh, let's take another. Let's do a little quick break here. We'll be back with emails. Um, and uh, um, we're going to wrap this thing up. So, folks, stay tuned. We're going to take a quick one and uh, be back in just. Oops, that's the wrong button. In just a few minutes. I don't think we did the music at the end of the last break, did we? I don't think we did. Uh, and so did I'm... anyone notice? I think you were trying to uh, cut off all the loop. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we had to get out of there. <laughs> yes, that's right. I did, I did it for comedic effect. Well, this time I'm going to play it because we have a nice, clean show. And here we go. 
bloop. And we are back, folks. And that means it is time for some emails. If you have an email, send them to beastcast at giantbomb.com. That is beastcast at giantbomb.com. Abby Russell. That's me. You've got some emails for us to read this week. Hey, if you send in emails I, and they don't get read aloud on the show, know that they have been read. Uh, I would yeah. like to uh, reassure read you. Read and appreciated. Yeah. And sent around sometimes. Yeah. It's not for the air, but just for individuals. Yeah. Sometimes people put a lot of thought and heart into them and they don't get read aloud. Yeah. And I just want to say I appreciate it. And uh, even though it's not read aloud, it is read and considered. Abby, what do we got to read aloud today? Okay, Jeff, please read this one from Simon. Surely, uh, Beastcast, I need your help. I am thinking about... <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm thinking about buying a gaming PC sometime down the road. Hopefully something relatively powerful. Normally I have a console, but want to switch to PC with the new generation. The thing is... In all caps, I do not understand anything about all this graphics malarkey. 4K, uh -oh. HDR, uh -oh. 1440p. Uh oh. My impression is that people think 4K makes sense for consoles, but not uh, so much for PC. Have I got uh -oh. the com complete wrong end of the stick? Can you give me an idiot's <laughs> intro, please? Are there articles or guides that you would recommend? You are not an idiot, Simon. I am. Uh, so Vinny I'm, is the only idiot yes. on this show, followed very closely by Abby. I will give and you an idiot's yay! intro. Hi, I'm Vinny, and, and I'm here to try to tell you my 4K. Hi, I'm Vinny, and I'm an idiot. Yep, um, that's usually how it goes. Hi, I'm Abby, and my name is Dumb. Hi, I'm, <laughs> I'm Vinny, and I'm a idiot. I'm, Great, I'm, now I'm, that all of our idiots have checked in. <laughs> uh, I've, been an idiot, I've been an idiot for the last... I can't... 15 16 years i think i've been uh been idiot uh i've been smart clean for about 16 years uh getting stuff wrong uh consistently and uh i want to thank my sponsor abby who's, who's really been helping me out through a lot of this stuff and and, and making yeah. sure that i don't say anything comprehensible uh or uh or you're doing track. great buddy thank you <laughs> they, sometimes i have days where i'm like i'm gonna go look this up and then she's like just wig it baby uh, no 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 <laughs> Just, no, you no, know, no, we no, 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 no. It's been a while. We never really talked about how Vinny has a perfectly smooth brain. Like, it's just completely free of wrinkles. Just, it's just, like, it just is straight just, lines the whole way down. Just a marble in there. Just a, you can polish it with a cloth. Anyway, what's going on, Bacalar? Um, so, you know, it's funny. It's like, is there a guide for this? And I don't really know of like a singular thing that says, Here's the guide to get how to get into it. I, I think. I mean, it seems like a missed opportunity you know, for CNET. If I'm, if I'm, I'm just gonna say, if, uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna say, maybe you guys should make a guide that's like, here's how you get into it. Maybe write well, that one down. Uh, that's your problem. Um, <laughs> that's your fucking problem. Man. Um, I, uh, yeah. I, look, he, he, first off, let me say you were not an idiot for wanting to to not knowing anything about it. It is not the most accessible. The barrier to entry is is I think in some capacity, maybe a little intimidating, but um, you know, if you're t if just answering directly the questions you've outlined here, yes, for the most part, people think 4k makes sense for consoles, but now there is a, a, a growing sort of movement of, you know, just getting that PC to output to a, t to a 4k TV. So, you know, that's what I do, right? I, I output to a 4k TV that has HDR that has, uh g-sync built in um here's how it works right and i guess I, there's really the, the best way i can explain is like you know most gaming most pcs uh most pcs and the, the displays that hook up to them are uh, max out at a resolution of either 1080p or 1440p which is which sits between 4k which is 2160p and 1080p at 4, 4, 1440 is like kind of the sweet spot that for the last five years, I think a lot of people have kind of, you know, eased into as like the right resolution for a computer monitor. And is that, that's um, kind of a, um, that's, um, like kind of performance to resolution, the sweet spot, right? Yeah. Like, and, and affordability, affordability too, right? Like okay. you can get, yeah. you know, you can get a 1440 
uh, P monitor with a real low latency, high quality mm. display for, you know, a couple hundred dollars, not, not nothing crazy. HDR is not as big of a deal in PC gaming as it is on consoles, uh, simply because TVs are all about HDR and monitors are not and displays are not. I think that's starting to change. Um, I actually just got a, an Asus that has HDR built into it. Hmm. I still think my OLED does HDR better, but it does, but this is a display with HDR in it. So just think, just put, you know, take a step back from that. Um, you know, the thing you gotta think about when you're building a PC or buying a PC sounds like you're very new to this. So maybe building it is not maybe the way to go. I think people look down on these boutique makers too much and sort of, you know, wince at it. I, I think if, I think that's a perfectly fine way to get yourself a gaming PC. Um, so, you know, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's, I don't know if this answers your question incompletely or not, but, um, you know, the barrier to entry is a little steep, but once you read a little bit, watch some videos that may or may not be out there. <laughs> can I, can I try and do a, a quick yeah, I let's, idiots let's, version let's too? Tag team it. Okay. Tag team it. Uh, <laughs> I'll yeah. do the idiot's version, so please take this with a grain of salt also. Uh, with resolution, you're looking at a clearer, sharper image. Um, you know, it is more pixels on the screen. The higher the resolution goes, the denser the pixels are on the screen generally, and it gets rid of things like aliasing, and uh, that's like the jaggies you might see on something uh, where you can – a lot of games will have options for anti-aliasing, and, and my understanding is I don't run at 4K, but the, the – you know – you can turn some of that stuff off and, and that's uh that'll take some load off of your GPU to push that, you know, sharper image, bigger, uh, uh, sometimes bigger images, depending on how they render stuff. You know, I'm saying like, um, you can get finer detail in that. Uh, this, it's a little more complicated than that, but this is the idiot's version of that. It's, well, the, but just to pick, just to jump on top of that for a sec, the reason, and that is kind of why the reason you don't see that many 4k displays because they are smaller in nature like most popular m gaming monitors are 27 to 32 inches and doing a 4k screen with that kind of small of a you know surface area isn't always yeah the return isn't as dramatic yeah it's one of the reasons why the uis have gotten small <laughs> there's a problem with ui sometimes as resolution goes up and people do not and developers are like oh we didn't design for 4k and all of a sudden your health bar is like a tiny little thing in the corner or text or uh, uh subtitles um the other thing just again in an idiot's way if you're just kind of coming to this uh, hdr is uh basically how much you can see in really dark spaces and how much you can definition you can see in really dark spaces and definitions you can see in really bright spaces. HDR allows you to see uh, more value in those spaces and uh, it can be really amazing. I think HDR is one of those things that um, is a seller for me on stuff at this point. I, it's some some games it's really used effectively. Yeah. 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 I mean, with the TVs now that do it well, it is, it's, it's pretty shocking, especially yeah. when you go back to looking at 4k content. That's not an HDR. It's, it's, uh, it's cool. And like a lot of times, like serious. uh games like, um, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn with a lot of neon stuff that's just glowing and uh, uh it really, and, and you know, a lot of really high contrast stuff looks amazing. So that's, that's what that is. Uh, yeah. I guess I guess what the Simon might be looking for is sort of like how maybe do I get into it? Sure. Uh, you know, and 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 let's <laughs> yes, go watch you know, the just, video. Yeah, watch videos. I mean, look at some uh, you know uh, pre-built or or companies that'll make a, a machine for you. Go through those specs and understand what those specs are. And and there's it can be know, overwhelming though. There there is a lot of definitely, and there it's, are it's opinions. Not, it's harder than keyboards, okay? It's harder than mm -hmm. keyboards. Can you so, move uh, as much stuff though? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'll I will echo this in the uh in the chat. Like Linus Tech Tips, his videos I think are really, really good and he does have good um intro stuff. Thanks, uh thanks to the chat for that. But yeah, it's um that's a good resource for sure. And then um, don't forget about your G Sync and your free sync and your uh and your HDMI two point one and You'll get Simon there. will get there. You'll <laughs> yeah, get, we'll get there. there. That's not that's not where you start. That's not where you start. <laughs> Abby, what's what's next? What else do we have? Okay, Alex, please read this one from Kevin. Sure thing. Kevin says, Would you rather have a game you hate be wildly popular and all anyone talks about, or play a game you love and absolutely no one wants to talk about it? 
Would you rather have a game you hate wild hate a game I hate be wild? What is the stronger popular? feeling? Mm -hmm. The need to be able to talk about things you love with other people and have them give a shit, or your need for things you hate to not be successful? I think I, I sorry, go ahead, Abby. Oh. I feel like for me, I want I would want the thing I hate be successful. It's like that's annoying, but whatever. But yeah. like I think for me, there's something so, such a bummer of like, this thing is so cool. Like, talk to me about it. Somebody, please, somebody, please talk to me about it. Like, I like, I feel like I've encountered that a lot with like, not only games, but like other art. And I'm just like, did you see this movie? Like, did you listen to the song? Like, somebody, <laughs> somebody talk to me about it. Um, yeah. So I yeah, think the, for me, I would rather the, have a game I hate be wildly popular because I've lived through that. And yeah. then sometimes like, all right, yeah, guys, all, whatever. The latter but. seems like some sort of odd prison sentence, right? Like, <laughs> Mm -hmm. You just have to like endure this 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 curse. I, I yeah, it's like that movie where that like, only that one guy is the only one who remembers the Beatles. You know, like it's just it's 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 like a Gosh, kind of a, a, a movie, torment. It? You know, uh, yeah, it is. It wasn't that's, good. That's a movie. That's yeah, a movie, yeah. right? I, 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 happen. Um, I yeah, I can go either way. I think um, I've I've definitely been there. Of like, you know, since we do things like game of the year where you're like, this game is bad and you all like it. Why do you like this so much? It can be yeah. really infuriating. Uh, and I think people are a little, and they'll, you know, just kind of be like, well, you don't get it. You don't get it. And be like, please don't uh, say it. Please don't say that. Uh, and then uh, you just don't get it, man. You're not playing it right. And I hate that stuff versus when you love a game and nobody else wants to talk about it or doesn't like it. I feel like people are sometimes a little more apt to listen, a little less condescending, and just be like, "Oh, it's not for me." You know, I just I, I don't yeah, like yeah. when people are when it's like you're not playing it correctly. You don't get it. You got to wait until hour seventeen, then it really kicks in. Uh, and <laughs> although on the reverse of that, mm -hmm. if everybody's talking about a game that you think is bad, you get to feel superior for knowing that you have the enlightened opinion. Oh yeah, I'm the only yeah. one. And these it. rebel are all eating up garbage. Oh, you like that? Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. You're one Whatever. of those. Yeah. Oh, I, I mean, if that's if I that's the so. kind of stuff you're into, sure. I yeah. Guess. <laughs> uh yeah. Option three is like I don't know. Just just play whatever you have time to play. Although what I will say, it's very satisfying when you do play something and you're like, oh my god, I just want to talk to somebody about it. Nobody's talking about it, and then you find that one person, and then it's like, oh, we found each other. Like that's the best. I, I think it's really disappointing though when you're like, oh my gosh. Uh, Alex is gonna love this game, and then you know, play, and they're just like, oh, nah, I, don't, I didn't, worst. I did not like it. I didn't, uh, wasn't into yeah. it. Be like, well, well, but it's so good. I think that's the worst, and I think what's maybe even worse than that, at least in my experience, is having someone be like, I love this thing, and then you experience it semi near to them, and you're like, right thing, <laughs> you know yeah, what kinda, I mean? Kind of fell off. To, <laughs> yeah, and then you have to like talk to them and be like, you know what? I can see why you like it. it was interesting. Oh, that was, it was interesting. <laughs> that part with yeah. the lube and the keyboard went places I wasn't <laughs> expecting. Wasn't expecting it. Yeah. What's in, uh, I could see why you might, you might like it though. Uh, Abby, mm -hmm. what's our next question? <laughs> you, you would love it. Shut up. <laughs> okay, Vinny, yeah. can you please read this one from Rick? Uh, yes. I, rem I remember years ago, Vinny and Drew discussing the jump from 720p to 1080, 1080p, 1080p and how that was going to affect storage. If I recall, they went pretty deep into their Synology setup for us fans. It got me thinking with 4K more prevalent, what is Giant Bomb capturing right now while everyone is working from home and back in the office? Are or were you capturing 4K? What would you like to Good capture question. in the future and send to fans? What does the video game have in store? What does the video quote game have in store in the years ahead for GB? That's a good question. Um, it's interesting because I feel like, <clears throat> no offense to people who are listening, there are certain circles out there who do not listen to what we say, and uh, it's fun mm -hmm. to say this stuff <laughs> and then uh, go read uh, that uh, uh, we are not doing that. But um, so I, you know, there are plenty of people and everybody listening to this right now. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the other people. Uh, yeah. It's just one of those weird things. I was just on the internet the other day reading a thing that's like, that's not, wait, th that's exactly the opposite of what we do. Who said this? Uh, anyway, we. You're, yeah. What you're referring to is when people comment about things we're doing <laughs> and it's 100% absolutely nothing we've ever done. I read a thing like, that's like, why don't they take the audio stems from their podcast and, and mix them together for the uh, for the audio version of the podcast? And I was like, that, we absolutely do that. Like, or yeah, I, we're doing that. It like, takes me like the rest of this night to do that. I don't understand. Like, <laughs> is the audio bad? I don't know. Work. Anyway. Um, so what are we doing? Uh, 4K. What are we doing? What are we doing? 
we should, we're still doing 1080p. We are set up in our we're set up in our studio to for, to do 4K. I suspect everybody at home would be set up to do 4K at this point. I don't have I a think 4K. Rory does weird stuff with his monitor occasionally, right? Yeah, Rory Rory uh Rory uh Rory, uh, Rory, Rory. has that ultra wide monitor and that causes some issues uh with some of the capture. So, um that's aspect ratio and that's uh, less about right. the 4K. I don't actually have a 4K setup here. Uh, so I couldn't capture capture 4K. We don't do HDR uh, because the audience just ain't ready for it. There's a lot of considerations um, in doing that stuff. Um, the storage is one of them for sure. Uh, being able to write fast enough to the drives and without dropping frames is another one. Um, you know, 4K capture at lower bit rates. You know, we get into bit rates versus resolution and that whole thing. Uh, we generally push out uh, about a 20 megabit per second megabit or megabyte please don't i might be getting one of those wrong um uh, uh master and that's the that's the resolution we do for 1080p stuff we'd have to up that uh that mezzanine or that master file if we go beyond 4k because there's more information there right so you you want to make that file bigger playback at 4k could be an option for some people transferring those files up um when you make those files for us when we're at home it's a big commitment for people who don't have great internet um, if you want to work on those. If we're transferring files around, this is maybe getting into the weeds too much, but you want uh, workable formats. MP4 is a delivery format, and even those at uh, 20 megabits per, megabits per second at two hours can be an upwards of 10, 15, 20 gigs. 20 gigs, yeah. yeah. Sending those around to people. But when you're doing it at something like ProRes, which is a workable file to bring into your video editing software to then compress into a delivery format, MP4, those files are then in the hundreds of gigs, or 70 gigs, 100 gigs. And that, um, and that gets a very heavy for people who don't have very fast internet to to push up and move around uh, if we're editing stuff and moving stuff around. So that all being said, 4K will get there eventually. Um, it's not that we can't do it. It's um, you know, it's 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 making sure everybody can do it. It's the the hard thing about having a group of people and making sure that everybody the 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 content has to be. Then why isn't this in 4K? Right, and making sure across the board we can all do it, and then we can archive stuff and, and make sure it's all there. Uh, we can absolutely stream 4K. Most of us can. Um, some people can't, though. Some people have problems with the bandwidth on that stuff. So there's a lot of considerations there. Right now, 1080p in a in a in a high megabit uh, bit rate is what a lot of us can handle. Um, but you know, there's no reason why we couldn't do 4K other than just making sure universally it's supported across the board and <clears throat> making sure that. Uh, also, when we're streaming to certain things, there are um, – if we're doing it in 4K or even downloading, we have the encodes to service everybody there. Like we don't just go to Twitch and YouTube, which can auto – which will auto re-encode uh, to different settings for people. We have to make sure our system in Akamai and the things we use are giving people available uh, options so they can play it locally either on their phone on their laptop, which might not be on their low internet, so a couple of different factors. That's a lot of information to say we are set up to do 4K, ready to go on 4K uh, for the most part, uh, just kind of uh, moving stuff around infrastructure. It's the back end stuff that gets a little a little trickier. It's um, it's very hard to, to I've found uh, for me, it's been tough capturing in 4K. Um, I've been I've been not been using I guess professional grade stuff. I've just been sort of using like an an uh, an Elgato 4K mm. thing, and um, you know it's you got to tweak around with the bitrate settings and and find like a happy medium. When I was capturing uh, Last of Us Two, that seemed to go pretty well because I think what was coming out of the PS4 Pro was uh was like a lighter kind of 4k signal if that mm. makes sense in terms of like you know bit density um but uh yeah it's it's not easy and these are huge files and it's not been great my up speed blows and that's all <laughs> i think everyone's up speed mostly yeah. blows mine's pretty good um yeah yours is a gigabit dude yeah yours up, up and gigabit, down yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty good um so i, I feel very i do lucky. not have gigabit upload. <laughs> yeah. i can say that much i feel very lucky to have that all right hopefully that answers some of that question again it's a little more complicated than than just resolution but you know um the, the short answer is yeah but i don't think it's our i don't think it's our best choice right now 
Uh, the, I have yeah. I uploaded a 4K thing once to YouTube directly because uh, that was the easiest thing for me. Nobody said anything. <laughs> Nobody commented mm-hmm. on no it. Noticed. Nobody noticed. Uh, it, it, listen, if you can go find it, go find it. I just did it because I wanted because we can do it in the studio, and I did it. And I was like, I'm just going to push a 4K version up to. Uh, I recorded this in 4K. I'm going to push this up to YouTube. No comment. Like, oh, 4K now, huh? Uh, or at least not that I saw. So uh, that's that's my experience. Abby, what's that's next? So funny. Um, I will read this last run from John. So we did get a couple of emails about this. I didn't just pull it to brag about. No, do it. You, this, you could if you want to. You, to, you should so brag. Uh, first off, this is from John. Congratulations to Abby for getting St. Vincent on her Fortnite stream. My wife and I were so happy for you. Thank you. That's very kind. Um, so my question is, if you could choose any celebrity and any <laughs> game to, to do a stream with, who would, who would it be and what game would it be? Uh, that's John from Belfast. Oh, man. I feel like I already got my wish. Uh-huh. So, I mean, who else oh, could man. I really do it? If I could play an online game with Abby Russell, I mean, she played with St. Nah, Vincent. I, she seems pretty busy. <laughs> I don't know. Um, celebrity, huh? Huh? Uh, my, my, my answer to this is always Jesus, but like, it has to be living or, <laughs> living or dead. <laughs> Why? Like, why? Because like, just think of the things. Just think of it. Just think of like, look at the conversation you're gonna have. Just think of like, Did Jesus, you have, like a Jesus in a headset playing Fortnite, like, uh, you know, or like, uh, you know, getting. Yeah, we have it. No, you don't need it. We speak the language of gaming. Um, let's well, say, let's say, deep. living, right? Living celebrity or uh, or yeah. Okay. It's like basically like pair a celebrity. Like what celebrity and gaming pair works well together? Mm. I would like to play a multiplayer American Truck Simulator session with Chris Christopherson of the movie Convoy fame. I think that would be fun. I think you could do this. How do you not pick Cage? I don't understand, but whatever, you have your answer. I don't think he plays video games. And also, I just, I mean, I guess I could get him to, you know, to sing, uh, you know, some rock band. I I bet he's got a beautiful singing voice. I think that could be fun. I'm trying to think what I would want to do is pick an actor who did a lot of voice work and is in a game that's not very good and then sit down with them to have to play the whole game with them to realize what they've done. Like what? <laughs> they, like, no, you're going to play. What's th- that? You're going to play this what's whole game Jack with me. Black game. Oh, did that game's fine. Game? No, that game's fine. Okay. Uh, the I also Legend. love Jack Black. Yeah. Brutal Legend's fine. No, I'm talking like a real clunker. I'm talking like a like budget where like you want to put like when a dog like poops on the carpet, you got to like stick their nose in it, right? <laughs> no, I don't want to be that cruel. I just want to be like, I want to be like, you probably have no idea what this is or what, uh, what what you got involved in here. You just said these lines, and we're gonna play this game, <laughs> and you're we're gonna see how this goes. I'm thinking like, you know. <laughs> so wild i just because i think that's because like you, you have to listen to yourself doing these lines uh using and you have to look at this weird character modeled of you the whole time uh, uh running around being like look you're sitting next to me and i'm playing as you is this not weird right now look what i'm making jean-luc picard do you know in the star uh, star trek game or whatever you know it's like um you know something like that could be uh really interesting to me all right jeff that's, that's my dream we got out Vinny's revenge fantasy. <laughs> um, <laughs> to everybody, I've got a notebook. I, <laughs> I, could, I could show you. Yeah, I mean, uh, no one really like jumped out right away when I read it, but I think, I just think like, uh, for the sake of how interesting it might be, is to like have someone like a Mel Brooks like sit down and like watch a whole video game and like get get him to talk about it i think that would be fun um i just haven't seen something like that i know that kind of plays off of like a conan clueless gamer sort of thing but i just think it would be wild i don't know like just try and think of like funny people that are older who probably are disconnected from this kind of thing Mm. in almost every way completely um so I what have do re- you have? You have another one? I do. I have a real answer. Okay, okay. Okay. Werner Herzog and, mm-hmm. and, and Final Classic. Fantasy VII. And, <laughs> do you want, just want to hang out with him for like 100 hours or something? I want him to really get deep into well, yes. I really want to get him deep into that story and start really talking about like what is motivating Cloud and like these characters <laughs> and, you know, what Red, whatever Red 9 really means and... Uh, or that, oh, or that game where, them? or that game where you build a car and you get drunk and pee on the side of the road. Remember that one? <laughs> yes. What was I, that? 
in the, in that same vein, I would love to get Werner's take on something like a bug snacks or <laughs> yeah. a Viva Pinata, <laughs> yes. because that guy has some thoughts about the violence of nature <laughs> that I bet he would have some thoughts about what's going on there. I saw a clip recently that was that was very interesting. I don't know if you guys have seen this. If it's old, if it's not, there are plenty of clips of, of Herzog out there. The one where somebody asked him, how many languages do you speak? Have you seen that one? I, yes, this was just passed around this week. Yeah. Okay, what yeah. It? Uh, it's very good. You should just go check it out. It's somebody asking uh, how many languages he speaks, and it is uh, a very Herzogian, is that a word now? It should be answer. Yeah, sure. It, you can it, do it, that it, to anyone. It leads to him presenting a ridiculous scenario and then having an exact <laughs> life story that plays into that ridiculous scenario. And it, it's wholly believable because it's him. Uh, yeah. You find out why he will never speak French, uh, which is mm -hmm. uh, which is just w w wild in a way that like you can't anticipate. Like you, you can think about it. You should write it down on a piece of paper why you think he won't speak French and then go watch that uh, video. And it is just i don't know very funny all uh, right uh, what a life uh abby what else we got that's it we just got uh we got to move on to the next section oh the next section well i'm thinking the next section is probably corrections if you've got a correction you can send it into beastcast.giantbomb.com that is beastcast.giantbomb.com abby russell what do we have this week jeff take it away from david Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. On last week's Beastcast, it was said that they are modeling the new Peter Parker face after the voice actor Yuri Lowenthal. That was close. PS5 Peter is modeled after Ben Jordan, the guy whose facial structure is closer to Yuri Lowenthal than the PS4 face model John Bubniak. Bubniak? I don't know. Black this is apparently... Come on, that's a tough name. Uh, this is apparently so that they can more easily translate Yuri's voice performance into the game. Thanks, you're welcome. Can I ask a question? Going? Why wouldn't you just get Yuri to do it then? Like, is, is I understand that like you know like physical acting and voice acting are tech, are kind of separate disciplines, but at the same time, like why not just have him do it then? Wait, no, I think it's the voice performance they're modeling onto. Why, I think your, your question, if I'm interpreting it right, is why not just model it after Yuri's face, right? It's, yeah. Yeah. Um, and because I think they are using his performance capture, Yuri's. I don't know. These are right. questions that can be answered. It's all I don't confusing. Know. I don't 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 know. Look, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. You I, can't, don't know. I, don't know. What do I don't know. 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 That's going to do it for this week's show, folks. Um, okay. It is going to yeah. actually do Yeah, no, I'm not kidding. Uh, it's going to do it okay. for this week's show. Uh, don't forget to tune in uh, tomorrow if you're watching this live. Alex and I are going to do some Mass Effect. It's possible we may wrap up Mass Effect. We don't know. We are prepared for a maybe longer episode. Uh, I also think Brad might join us as well, uh, which would be a lot of fun. Uh, so tune in for that tomorrow. Uh, it's Friday. If you're listening to this uh, at some other point, you might have missed it, but check it out. Uh, we also got, like we said, Abby's video playing Fortnite with St. Vincent. We've got um, uh, uh, this week, uh, The Left for Dead. Abby, you played with Alex. You were there, right? And, I was there. Uh, and Ben Alex, and Jan. Alex, Jan, and Rory. Oh, Rory. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Um, we got a quick look up for Squadrons, quick look up for that Breath of the Wild but anime. I forget what is the name of that one. Genshin Impact. Yeah, that's up there. We got Brad's thing with Bug Snacks. Take a look at that. Quick look up for the Solitaire Conspiracy. Which that's I forgot right. To talk about. We forgot to talk about it. <laughs> we really forgot to talk about it. Uh, <laughs> next time, I'll put it on the list now. <laughs> that's right. Uh, go check that out. Uh, that seemed like it has a very fun presentation uh, uh, for a Solitaire like. And a lot of Greg Miller uh, in, in that solitaire. Uh, Backlar, anything else uh, uh, you want to talk about before we get going? Uh, no, nothing really. Okay. Just want to click this into the mic a little you're bit. You're clicking uh, your, your cap there, your switch. What is that one? What's your switch? What is How it? This, is a, this is called a Zelio. Oh, not a cherry? It's a Zelio. No, it's based off a cherry. Okay. What switch. are you saying? He said it's, it's, yep. it's a sex talk for it's him. Actually, I think so. it's a gathering <laughs> switch that they modded. Anyway, uh, yeah, just uh, keep your eyes peeled for more videos probably by this time next week, I think, or maybe not. We'll see. 
Uh, more videos probably probably by this time next week, says Jeff Eckler. May you live in interesting times, and boy, do we. Abby Russell, <laughs> Alex Navarro, Jeff Bacalar, people listening at home, I appreciate all of you. Thank you appreciate very much. you too, Vinny. Thank you very much. Uh, that's going to do it for this week's show. Like I said, tune into all of that fun stuff up on the site now. Years and years of stuff. You can find it. Uh, I got about 20 seconds left here to kill. So uh, I'm just going to... Happy birthday if it's your birthday. Happy birthday if it's your birthday. And they, all the parents out there doing a great job with their kids. All the teachers out yeah. there doing a great job. Uh, hopefully <laughs> it's, it's very stressful um, times. Thanks, everybody. Uh, stay safe. Be kind to each other uh, and, and help each other out. That's going to do it for this week's show. For real here. Now I can finally sign off. I'm Vinny Caravella. You've been listening to Giant Beast Cast, And we'll see you next week. That's it. I, I nailed it. Perfect. <laughs>